Okay, so let's talk through the build process. Let me give you a bit of a summary for this project. So I create videos for a site called digitalparenting.com where I try to help parents make better decisions about how they engage their kids with technology. And one of the things I learned was post-production was killing me. I don't know if you've ever been in that boat, but you get great videos shot, but the amount of work that you have to do to get them done is just so much. So one of the things I wanted to do was totally switch up my setup. So let's talk about what I have so far. So far, I have a couple of cameras. I actually use Panasonic GH4s. And with those, I actually just record straight to the cameras. And after that, I take them, I dump them in, I dump them into Premiere, I go through and do all my post-production work, drop in lower thirds, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and this is just too time consuming. Um, in addition, I've also got audio, so you can see I've got a lapel mic, I've got a Sennheiser, and then I actually record that to a Tascam unit. Um, I'm totally gonna switch that up a little bit as well. So here's what I'm looking to do. Here's the goal, the gold standard for me is, I can do a little bit of work up front on a video, then I can just shoot it. And when I'm done shooting it, it is done. It is ready, maybe I have to trim the beginning and end, but it is ready to be just compressed and pushed out to wherever I want it to go, to YouTube, to my site, to all the other places I plan on using it. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, the way I've chosen to do that is instead of going from a situation where I'm recording straight on my cameras and then I'm gonna go dump it in to Premiere and do my post-production, which is what I'm gonna do for these videos, but what I wanna do eventually is use a live switcher setup. So what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to go in and create a, uh, a setup based mainly on Blackmagic Design and a lot of what they provide. So one of the units, kind of the crux of this, is I'm using their Television Studio HD switcher, which gives me a 1080p live switcher. That's an ATEM unit, so that's their kind of approach for, for doing video switching. And one of the great things about that is that video switcher, you can communicate through an, what we call an SDK to make some changes to that video switcher. So I'm gonna be able to automate a lot of this, so I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use some of my experience as a software developer to automate some parts of this. Because you might be wondering, well David, it sounds great that you wanna make these videos live and you wanna just be done with them, but how do you handle things like when to throw in lower thirds, when to do that? You can't just script everything from a time perspective. Totally agree. So one of the things I'm gonna do after we build out, build out this rig is I'm gonna go through a series to show you how I'm planning to automate this. I'm actually planning on using a foot switch to step through macros and then actually program it all so that it actually communicates with my switcher so that yet again, I just have to storyboard my videos and then when I'm done with them, they're totally done. But we've got um, a lot of unboxing to do. So what we're gonna do here at the beginning of the project, I'm gonna walk you through some core components of what I'm gonna build out. I'm gonna do all of the unboxing. And then in addition to that, we're gonna put it all together in a nice rack unit so that we have all of this ready both here in our studio and if we ever need to go do any live shoots, which we're gonna be doing a live podcast recording next week for digitalparenting.com. And so we'll get to see how some of that plays out as well. So I hope you hang around. I hope you see this project build out. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And let me know if you have any questions as we go through this. Thanks for joining me here on One Man Video.